Hi, everybody. Welcome to Sunday Songwriting. We have a really special guest today. Oh, that's a good shot. Drum roll, please. Uh. Ladies and gentlemen, we now present Yoshi! Hey Yoshi's in the house. Yoshi. Yoshi's in the house. Yoshi. Yoshi's in the house. Yoshi. 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 Let me see that again. It's just uh, just a little old man dance, you know. Minus the. We're kind of in the shadows right now. Hi everybody! Yoshi Roberts on our songwriting show. He says I'm putting him on the spot, but that's okay, I'm not. Hello guys, how are you? Thanks for having me, Aviva. Because he's so fresh. Grasshopper. Wow, that was really good. Welcome to Sunday Songwriting, everyone. We love you so much, and we want to make you smile. I can never tell if it's really on. Okay, you can tell because the little secondhand thing is, is going. I mean, if it's recording my words exactly at the right time. <laughs> and now he's just reacting. And Andre's hiding again, but he's right there. He's there. See, I'm going to come on this side. Wait, Andre. Hello. He's so studly. Thanks for being here, Yoshi. Today we have a really exciting show for you. Uh, yeah, I'm being, being nervous. My head not getting too loud. But... Yoshi and I wrote a song. Take it And we just finished it like an hour ago. And Andre said we should have recorded that whole process because it was interesting to him. Yoshi and I are doing a show together in Athens. So we were hanging out and making flyers and all of a sudden... Like, a melody popped in my head, and I was like, I think we're supposed to write a song together. And then the words, like, kind of popped in his head, and then it just, like, organically happened. It was so magical. This song is called Some Love Body. Some Love Body? Our hidden drummer is getting in his place. As we were saying, Yoshi and I wrote a song together for this series. Some bodies? Some bodies. I don't even know. That's funny. How'd that happen? <laughs> Maybe she called Love Some Bodies. Love Some Bodies? I guess that could be a play on words. We can ask our listeners what they think it should be called. Y'all post on Facebook once we put this video up there what you think the song should be called. Please, we would love to hear your opinion. Anyway, I think Claw wants to say hi. Yeah, I think so. He was on last week's episode. We're going to go ahead and play the song for you. I feel like a princess. Aviva. Hey, who's behind curtain number one? No, 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 I'm scared. I'm sorry. Don't tell. Don't say you saw him. All right, let's go. If you want to be loved, love somebody. If you 
talk a little bit about how we wrote this song or what inspired it well Aviva and I were kind of just spending the day together and uh, we went to Spiritual Living Center of Atlanta to be inspired and then afterwards had an amazing meal uh, I, she introduced me to um, Ethiopian food for the first time you know charged our bodies with some good healthy food right it just kind of happened you know we were just singing a cappella in the car and came up with harmonies and you know, decided what we wanted to sing about. And, and we were having fun. Exactly. And that's usually where uh, positive, fun music comes from. <laughs> so we really are um, going to be playing this song on Friday at uh, New Earth Music Hall in Athens. And um, we'll be joined by Ali Doodle. She'll be playing her... Doodle, doodle. Doodle uke. Uke shredding. So what inspires you to write music, Yoshi? Um, life. Just uh, living life and keeping my eyes open and trying to stay conscious. And, you know, when you do that, things kind of smack you in the face and you have to get out your feelings about it somehow. And for me, music has always been that muse. Yeah, we kind of had a... A very harmonious writing experience like you were open to my ideas and I was open to your ideas and um, it's hard to find when you have two front men slash women yeah <laughs> it was really hard for me to um, let let the song change to the C as early as it did in the chorus I wanted it to change one beat later but I sacrificed it and I'm okay with that I really appreciate you letting me change the original bridge chord ideas that you had. Hey, you made me learn something new. Really? What was that? That chord. Oh, yeah, that chord. <laughs> she she pulled this chord out, and I was like, you know what? I don't know how to play that. Hmm. Show me. And that she did. That's humble. Multi-talented multi Aviva showed me a guitar chord, and she just learned how to play guitar like a year ago. Two years ago. Oh, two years ago. It's great. It's a great instrument. Well, um, we're here to teach each other everything that we know because there's just so much to learn and there's not enough community and not enough infiltration of our brains with each other's brains because we're stuck in boxes a lot of the time. Little boxes on the hillside. I Little hope boxes made of ticky tacky. Sorry, I'm addicted to that show. Yeah? Yes. That's cool. I've never heard it before. So, 
Yeah, I'm excited to teach y'all some mud building on Friday. I, I don't know what to expect, but I'm embracing the mystery. Learning how to build with mud is a wonderful thing because... Because Aviva has put together a cobbing mud station playground. Would that be a good way to describe it? Yes. Um, but it's clay and sand mixed with straw, and the clay sticks to the sand, and it creates lots of little holes, and it gives it porous um, breathability, which is so much healthier for you, too, to live in a house that breathes so you have so much more oxygen, which you really need. You know, I think a lot of people get sick in the winter because they stay indoors. There's so many toxins indoors and not enough oxygen for us to process it. So get outside. Even if it's cold, go for that walk. It's so important. It was great advice. You know, it does seem like breathability would uh, add to the everyday living. Hey, Andre, what are you doing back there? Nothing. <laughs> it sounded really <laughs> suspicious. Incriminating. <laughs> what are you doing back there? Should we come back there? All right, let's just close the curtain. I feel like it's not doing the lips and time. <laughs> so... We hope that you enjoyed our songwriting show. <sighs> and we, uh, please come see us again next Sunday. We are doing a songwriting show every single Sunday with new songs. Yo, know, she's about to crack up. What's going on? <laughs> should, I, you, what, should we check on the man behind the curtain? Fine. What? <laughs> I hope this is as entertaining for everybody else. <laughs> sure is entertaining for me. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not covering my 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 smile when I laugh. That's bad habit. I'm breaking it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Seriously. Deep breath. See you next week. See you guys. All Subscribe. Right. So we hope you can make it to our show this coming weekend. It's at New Earth in Athens, and it's going to be killer. You know, I just thought about something. I don't know if it's too late to try it, but you were talking about going up there early and busking it in store this song. That would be cool. Okay, the camera's busking. running. Let's start over. See you next week. See you guys. Right. Subscribe.